Dear friends, when we drive our car, we usually use Google Map or Waze. We usually mostly use Waze. Now, when we drive the car, the, the Google Map or the Waze is giving us the direction, 10 left, 10 right, after 200 yards, 10 right, and then take the immediate left, we get these directions. But sometimes when we go through a long tunnel, all of a sudden we lose the signal and we don't hear anything. And the map also sometimes goes kind of a blank or in a, in a different mode. But that doesn't mean that we stop in the tunnel and wait for the signal to come. We go through, we move forward, we push forward. And when we reach the end of the tunnel and then as we come out of the tunnel, slowly the color comes back, signal comes back and then we'll hear the voice again. And in some other places when we are driving, an area came where there is no signal at all. There is no telephone mobile signal. And all of a sudden we lose the signal and the voice is gone, but we don't stop, we continue. And then the signal comes back again. This is the same thing many times in our Christian life and Christian walk as well. When we go through our life, when we go in our life, when we go forward, Many times we listen from the Lord and we take steps one after the other. But he gives us a destination to go in the same way we get in the Google map or in the ways as well. We set a destination and that's where the, to the destination the ways is taking us. In the same way, the Holy Spirit, the Lord is taking us to a destination. And when we are being taken to a destination, what happens is that we need to understand as we are going, even though sometimes we miss the Lord, we feel like he is not there. He has left us. He has gone. He hasn't gone anywhere. He is still there. When we don't hear from him directly, still the map is there with us, which is the word of God. Word of God says, do not give up. I am with you. Go forward. And we go forward. When Abraham, when God spoke to Abraham and said, Abraham, I want you to sacrifice your only son, Isaac, in the mount that I'm going to show you. Abraham heard the voice and began the journey. But there was no voice, the voice of God heard throughout his journey. When he was building the altar, no voice of God. When he was binding and tying Isaac, there was no voice of God. But when he took the knife and it was between the knife and the neck, that's the time he heard the voice again. This is the how our Christian life is many times. When we go through a tough time, we may not hear the voice of God. But the Lord is testing you knowing that you can go through it and testing you whether you will still depend on him and go forward without stopping or deviating. And that he has given us the map, which is the word of God in our hands, saying, read it regularly. This will guide you. And then once we are guided and we are going, we'll begin to hear from him again. Ten left, ten right, go straight forward. Then he will say, your destination is two, in 200 meters, your destination will be on the right. Then he will say, you have reached your destination. How beautiful it is. Why can't we just trust him, love him? Let anything be your situation. Let you be in a tunnel or let you be under the water or let you be in the sky, in the space or let you be in a place there is no signal. Read your word of God. Read the Bible. Go forward. Don't stop. Go forward and you will see and you will hear again the voice of the Lord saying, My son, my daughter, I am with you. This is your moment. Ten left and then you will reach your destination. You will be surprised and amazed to see how the Lord guides you and directs you. Be tuned with the Lord and the Lord bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Shalom.